I'm Walter Bokting and I'm the co-director of the Programme for the Study of LGBT Health, which is a uh, joint venture between the Department of Psychiatry at Columbia, the New York State Psychiatric Institute, and the Columbia School of Nursing. And we have a program of research, we do clinical service, we do a lot of education and training in the area of uh, LGBT health. And uh, two areas of our program that I'm uh, uh, very closely uh, involved in are transgender health and uh, aging. So in the area of transgender health, we have a longitudinal study of transgender identity development across the lifespan. And what we're learning there is really how people's sense of their gender and their gender expression and the way they actualize that in their lives continues to change. So it's not that people transition and that's the end of it, but their development really uh, continues. So for example, what we find is that people who identify in a very binary way become, tend to become more non-binary as time goes along, and people who are very uh, non-binary and defy gender at some point, as they further uh, develop, they actually find more of a middle ground and they have to, you know, because in our society uh, we still have a lot of binary gender going on. But they also learn to integrate that in a way that, uh, that works uh, for them. In the area of uh, aging, we're looking at how chosen families of LGBT people and the fact that they needed to develop their own family networks uh, during their life, especially the, the current generation, older generation of LGBT people, they, they couldn't really take their families for, for granted, so some of them had to really create an alternative, their own families. And we're finding that that kind of social support, having a dynamic social uh, circle of friends and have deep friendships, that that really uh, is good for your health. And so we're trying to learn from that group and once we can be more precise, what about these networks? How LGBT people keep those vibrant? And what about these networks is really uh, helps your, your aging and your quality of life? Then we can also bring that to the, you know, to the general population.